Hey everyone and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. On this video we're doing the optional quest, A Summons From Below. I believe this optional quest is unlocked by simply killing tempered monsters. Once you kill enough, it'll eventually pop up for you. Um, so, login bonus is 5 potions. So once it does pop up for you, it will be offered at the armory. Hey, you're just the hunter I was looking for. I'm working on a new specialized tool, but I need help with the materials. Can I talk you into signing up for the A Summons From Below quest? Right. I ask provisions to put aside what I need once the quest is complete. Whenever you feel like it is just fine. Alright, and we're going to need to kill a tempered Valhazak and a tempered Odogeron. So before we get started, I'm going to make a ridiculously awesome new charge blade. Um, on the last video, I mentioned I was missing a Black Spiral Horn Plus from a Black Diablos. I went ahead and got that off recording, and we are ready to make this thing. So, forge equipment and weapons. Charge blade, of course, and we're going to make a Bone Strong Arm 1 to get us started. Okay, equip that, and now we need to upgrade it many, many times. Okay, Bone Strong Arm 2. Bone Strong Arm 3. Uh, hard Bone Strong Arm 1. Diablos Wall 1. Diablos Wall 2. Diablos Tyrannos 1. And finally, the one we're looking for, the Diablos Tyrannos 2. It's got rarity of 7. You can see its attack is through the roof, 828. Sharpness leaves a lot to be desired, but sharpness is not the biggest deal in the world for charge blade users. Um, you can see the affinity is minus 30%. That might seem terrible, but it's actually not that big of a deal because uh, the only part that can crit is my initial hit on super amped elemental discharge. All of the shockwaves are going to hit for the same damage regardless, so that basically has no effect on me. And then you can see it also has ice element, but it's hidden, and that's actually a good thing because I have a decoration that boosts the attack of my non-elemental weapons. And if the element is hidden, then it's considered non-elemental and I get that attack boost. Plus, it's got defense bonus of 15, which is pretty awesome, and the impact files, which are the better files in my opinion. Also, there is room for two augmentations. So it's a really, really good charge blade. All right, so we've made that now. Let's go ahead and augment it. Now, I was mistaken. I thought each warrior streamstone for axe equaled one augment, that is not the case. So you can see I need both of my Axe Warrior Streamstones here, three regular Streamstones and a Rathalos Ruby if I want an attack increase, which I do. It goes from 828 to 846. Um, but I could also get an Affinity increase, Defense increase, a Slot upgrade, or Health regen. But I want that attack. Alrighty, and then the only thing that sucks about this weapon is there are no decoration slots, and I was already a little low on decoration slots, and so now I only have five. Not much to work with. I definitely need the elementless jewel. That's awesome. Um, let's put defense jewel in for fire resistance. Iron wall, I want to keep that. Footing jewel, I guess, is useful. I don't have two anymore, so I can only nullify minor ground tremors. I might end up swapping that out. Um, I'm also probably going to make a new helmet at some point with some decoration slots because I desperately need some more. But uh, anyways, this looks good for now. Let's manage items. Oh, I forgot to get more stair jerky. I am fighting an Odogaron, but it should be fine. Um, let's also take a Mega Demon Drug and a Mega Armor Skin. It's not the hardest quest in the world, but it's not a pushover either, so good to come prepared. And we should be all set. All 
All right, this is a nine star optional quest. A summons from below. Hunt a tempered Valhazak and a tempered Odogaron. Reward money is 29,520 zenny, and this one is from the Armory. Here at the Second Fleet, we've been working to develop new tools to help your hunts, but we need your help gathering the materials. We're counting on you to take this quest. Sounds good. Let's go to the Central Camp with a voucher. Alright, not too concerned with food, I'll just take the chef's choice. Yes. Mm -hmm. And of course I want my freebies. Uh, we'll also take my mega demon drug and my mega armor skin. I'm actually curious what kind of defense and attack ratings I will have with my new stuff. 481 defense and 1,012 attack. Wow. That is going to do some serious freaking damage. Oh, and there's Odo Garon. Hello, Odo Garon. I'm going to smack you. Okay, mantle on. Let's do this. Oh, that would have been perfect for a super amp, but I wasn't ready. Would have been nice. So you can see, even my regular hits are hitting really hard. That was a 42 to the face. But just wait. Real damage has yet to be seen. Although I don't know if I'll be able to get a super amped off on an Odogaron. Not always the easiest thing in the world to pull off. But maybe here. Won't be all the shockwaves, but there'll be some, and oh my goodness. Did you see that? Shockwaves for 90 apiece? Ridiculous. Hey, and I got a Tail Raider friend. Axe to the face. Or maybe not. Oh, 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 this could work. No, dang it. He's done. Oh, oh, so close. Hey, cut. Paralyzed. Perfect. That's some good damage. Ripped his tail right off. He may be tempered, but I don't care. Right, I do need to be careful. Mantle is now gone. Oh, it's bad timing to have it gone. All right, I'm gonna try it right here. Might work. It will work. Oh, sort of. Right. Health boost is down. Mantle's off. Just getting back to full health. Oh, hi. Thanks for coming over to me. Oh, this freaking Tail Raider is amazing. Oh, this is gonna hurt him. Boom. Oh crap, went up on the wall, I got lucky there. And he is already running. He's getting out of here. It's like, nope, that guy hurts. Well, that woman. Good job, Gyros. You are awesome. Take that Odo Garon material. I wonder if he's already. Oh, no. Just wondering if he was already uh, super injured. Valhazak's there. I don't believe Valhazak will attack me until I attack it. Save him for after Odo Garon. And oh, I want to get there quickly. Or my shield buff will go and I can't charge my sword on him, which is awesome damage. Some herbs. He is asleep. Can we do this in time? Yes, we can. Boom! Wake up. Oh, and he's exhausted. 
Too bad I can't super amp in there. Oh crap. Oh, I got lucky. Oh, <laughs> Gero's trying to get that paralyzed again. Best Tail Raider ever. across the face for the finish oh I never harvested the tail but whatever oh hey look at that little gear on plate all right so you can see the damage is significant took down that auto ground like it was nothing and now it's time for Valhazak who should be far easier to land my super amps on. A lot more health, but should be easier to hit. So it might actually go down quicker. Just depends. Uh, and I guess I should probably sharpen the rest of this. There we go. Oh, and I also want to grab some stones while I'm down here. There's things you can drop in his head. I didn't even know about them until I grouped with somebody who did it. I think there's some stones around here. Maybe. I thought there was. Maybe it was up here. Well, apparently it will attack me. What the heck? I thought there was some stones around here. Oh, never mind. He didn't attack me. Well, I guess we're not using the stones. Oh, well. Here we go. Alright, well, it's gonna drop its goop on the ground. Whoa! Uh, I guess I could drop the health booster now. Oh crap, I don't want to be there. I could super amped here, but I will charge my shield instead. I'll do the safe route. Now I can hit really hard, so I'm, I'm being cautious with it, but... Probably a little overly cautious, to be honest. Oh. But that's the biggest problem with Valhazak is dropping my HP in half. Oh, crap. I need to get out of there. Get out of there. Just use a first aid med, I guess. Dang it. I could drop that on his head if I only had something to do it with. Oh, let's get him out. Oh, let's not get him out. Thought that would work. Oh, hey. Temporal Mantle's ready. After this. Uh, oh, actually, it did quite well. I don't know what it was doing, but it's about to get smashed. Oh my god, so much damage. And it's turning right into another. Broke apart. Oh, and a paralyze from the Tail Raider. This is fantastic. This might be a KO right here. Boom! No KO. I still got lots of time on this mantle, though. Really tearing into him. And boom! Another good one. In fact, I think it interrupted his... Misty was trying to shoot out. Alright, I 
probably get one good one in. Oh, wow, he's already injured. Holy crap. I am not used to doing that much damage. Oh, I think there's some stones right there. Well, I don't think it will, but if it manages to return out here, it's uh, going to have a bad time. So I drop stones on its head. Sharpen is much more important than it used to be. Still have my Tail Raider friend. And he should be going to sleep. He's really injured. He's got the skull on everything. Yeah, he's taking a nap. I'm going in. Pull out the sword. Charge it up. Wakey, wakey. Still no KO. Drop the goop. You can see he doesn't drop it nearly as far as the uh, Arc Tempered did, so it's really not that dangerous. Ow! Ah, uh, I was gonna attack him there, but let's just wait. Drop a health booster, I probably need it at some point. The reason I'm not attacking here is because I've had him dive at me before and just like straight up kill me and it's ridiculous. So, he does hit hard. I'm trying to get a good opportunity. Here's a good one. Or maybe not. Oh, it worked. He's dead. Tempered. Tempered Elder Dragons don't scare me. I was trying to get that material, but I missed it. Although I should have lots and lots of Valhazak material, because I killed the Arc Tempered one five times, I think. But, I'll take whatever material I can get. All right, what else we got? Uh, bones, I guess? Sure. <laughs> got a Gyros party over here. I think that's all I can get. All right, that only took 11 minutes and nine seconds. Wow. Uh, gleaming stream stone. We got some Balhazak talon talons. Eh, mediocre. And we're up to hunter rank 66. Uh, did I even heal? I don't think I used any of my items. No, I didn't. Wow. Oh, that reminds me, though. I need to get a stair jerky. Let's get that now. Take it easy. Uh, buy two box. A stair jerky, you will just get, I don't know, a hundred. I will never run out again, or at least not for a really long time. Okay, uh, I don't know if I've completed any bounties recently. Apparently I have not. Um, I do know that my research level on Black Diablos went up when I got that horn. So let's go check that out. Oh, and Lunastra. Apparently I never looked at that. Alright, so Lunastra is capped out now. We have the high rank rewards. And then we have the Black Diablos. We have the high rank rewards. All right, let's go get our tool. Huh. 
Well done. You took care of the A Summons From Below quest. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I've managed to complete the specialized tool I was working on. You can have the first working model. Go ahead, take it. Let me know what you think. And we got the rock steady mantle. This thing is awesome. I'll probably bust it out from time to time. Um, if you don't remember what it is, I shall show you. I have used it in uh, arena quests. So let's see, where's the hiding? Right there, rock steady mantle. Its effect duration is 90 seconds. Recharge time is 360 seconds. Eliminates damage reactions, prevents wind effects, protects your, uh, your hearing, and grants tremor resistance. You also receive less damage from attacks. Now, I haven't tested the wind effects thing, but if that is true, this is freaking incredible for fighting Kushala Doora. And it's probably true, because Rocksteady just... You basically don't get moved. Things hit you, you take the damage. It can be dangerous, like sometimes you'll get hit and not realize you got hit, or sometimes you'll get hit and wish it had thrown you back and it actually didn't, and then you just get hit again. So it's definitely a double-edged sword in some cases, but in general, not getting knocked around is freaking amazing. So uh, it's definitely something I might pull out from time to time, although I do really like my combo of health booster and uh, temporal mantle. That really wasn't the best showcase of it, in my opinion, but you get the point. Alright, um, as far as I can tell, I am currently out of quest offers. Um, there are more quests in the game, not many. I believe there's four I haven't done, perhaps five. Um, but we're going to have to um, unlock those. So uh, the one I'm most likely to unlock next... Well, I don't remember it by name, but there's one for killing tempered monsters, and there's another for completing research. I believe it's completing research on 15 monsters. Um, let me go check how many I've completed so we can see how, how far I am from picking that up. So let's see. We have... Let's we'll start at the top. So that's complete. One, two... Uh, three, four, five, six, seven, almost eight, eight there, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So yeah, it looks like two more research completes and Uragan is basically complete. I don't, it's so close. Where, where was it? Where was the Uragan? There it is. Yeah, look at that. It's like a sliver from being complete. So anyways... Uh, two more research completes and we'll get a new optional quest, so that'll be happening very soon, I'm sure. Um, but in the meantime, I will be doing a Twitch stream of Monster Hunter to pick up that research and do other fun activities to raise my hunter rank and do whatever I feel like doing. So, if you'd like to join me, that will be this Wednesday, uh, what would that be? October 11th. Um, we're gonna do it from 7 p.m to 9 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. So if you'd like to join me, definitely hop on to my Twitch. I'll have a link down in the description below. We'll have a good time. Twitch for Monster Hunter is probably going to become a more regular thing because I'm really running out of quests, um, and I just need to, to do a lot of grinding and other things. So if you need help or you just want to hang out, definitely stop on by. We'll have a good time. But I shall see you guys on the next one. We are done for now. So thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time.